we've arrived in Bremer Bay. It was a long couple of hour drive in the middle of nowhere. Um, but we have sunshine and blue sky. Yay! And green grass. And green grass. Ah, so good. So good. It's a little bit chilly still, but that's okay because there's blue sky and sun. Um, I think it's been like a week since we've seen the sun. That's why I'm like, sun. Uh, anyway, um, Bremer Bay Caravan Park. Um, really lovely owners and they've put, literally had one site left <laughs> that would fit us so we are like right here at the entrance but it's got but it's actually really nice um green grass and trees and um close to the playground we can see aria from the playground from the site um there's tennis courts here too which is cool but not often you see tennis courts in the uh, caravan park um but yeah i'll give you i'll just get a bit set up and then i'll give you a bit more information um of the caravan park um, so it was about $39 a night for us, two adults, one four-year-old. Um, it's dog friendly um, and it's 500 metres from the beach, which is always a bonus, which we're going to go and check out because it's sunny and we might as well. Um, I'll show you around the park a bit later on. Oh, we're checking out Bremer Bay. We just stopped in at the caravan park, set up the caravan. And it's a bit of sunshine. It's been like a week since we've had sunshine, so we're making the most of it and coming down to check out the bay. Wow, the watercolour looks spectacular. So I don't think I've ever, ever seen water this colour. Like, yeah. Even up north at Broome and stuff, it's sort of like milky. This is just clear and just perfect colour. What do you reckon of Bremer Bay, Amanda? I love it! It's a nice little Bremer. town, hey? I love Bremer Bay. I love that it's sunny. Woo! Good morning. I'm on my own this morning. We're all up early, but I've just been dropped up to the Orca Whale. Uh, experience. Something that's been on my bucket list and we are here at the right time, right at the end of the orca season and so I'm doing it because I can. <laughs> um, it's pretty expensive, like 380 bucks or something. Um, they don't take kids under 10 so Daniel was like, we could have put Ari in childcare because there is childcare in Bremer Bay here. Um, but we decided at $380, he wasn't that, wasn't that keen. Like he was like, hmm, no. Anyway, I hope I don't get seasick like last time I was on a big boat going out in the ocean. I've already taken two seasick tablets. So uh, fingers crossed, let's go and see some walkers.
I was very um, close in terms of um, being sick because it is rough. We went on a uh, medium to calm day and it was rough, 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 rough. So uh, if you, my advice to you is if you are a um, person that gets motion sickness, be prepared. Take motion sickness tablets the night before the morning of take some what for while you're on there um, to, for the trip back um, and yeah just be prepared <laughs> uh, you're better off being prepared and over the, um, over prepared than not being prepared in my opinion um, and it's cold like it was it's a beautiful sunny warm 25 degree day here but I needed um, long pants and extra my extra thick kind of jacket because it's freezing cold out there as well um, with the wind because you do go a fair way you power at high speed for like an hour and a bit um, and then you spend about three anywhere to three to four hours with the orcas following around watching them play and let them um, right coming right up to the boat and things like that and then you power back for about two hours so um, it's that wind is cold um, the tour was so worth it so worth it one of the one of those once in a lifetime opportunities um, you don't get to see orca whales very often in Australia so um, it's really awesome it's actually a family run business as well in that um, the dad is the skipper the mum is the main kind of cabin person the daughters are um, there as well helping you out if with food and drinks and giving you information and you know that kind of stuff running the running the place um, and they have also have marine biologists um, come on and uh, do heaps of information and explain everything that's going on as much as they can and while they're out there they use that as an opportunity to research um, the orcas as well uh, today was one of the um, baby orcas um, first introduction to the ship and the stuff and the people uh, they've seen the baby uh, they've named it Warney I believe um, and they've seen it but it's never been mama has never brought it as close to the boat as it has today um, and that's her way of introducing Warney to the to the boat and to the people that they see every day uh, which is pretty cool so now they they're doing that they've done that introduction Warney will know what the boat is and they'll trust the boat um, as well it's pretty cool pretty cool experience um, but yeah small family owned business family run staff everything like that um, which is another awesome bonus of this tour we're back at 2.30 um, so we've got the rest of the afternoon I'll give Daniel a call and get him to come pick me up and um, I'm glad to be back <laughs> like it was awesome and everything but it's also nice to be off that boat <laughs> um, oh yeah they also have the um, staff member that takes photos throughout the day um, that you can access that night after your tour so I'll go tonight and have a look at those um, and I'll, if they're I'm sure they're awesome I might be able to include a few for you here as well um, I took heaps of video I didn't even attempt photo because they're just so quick um, so I'll pop in some of those photos here for you um, if I can I have to check that um, I think that's everything you need to know do it when you're in the area from Bay put it on the list if you're in the right season January to April February to April something like that but yeah it's pretty awesome um, I just remembered about lunch food stuff so there's um, soft drinks water snacks muffins um, 
biscuits um, and wraps, sausage rolls, pies, um, ham cheese toasties, all kind of warm, cooked and warmed up, supplied, etc. Fruit um, all throughout the day, the whole time. So um, I took a few snacks just in case because I wasn't sure what they would have. Didn't use any of my own snacks. <laughs> didn't need to. Um, but also I didn't eat that much either because I wasn't feeling very well. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just so you know, you don't need to worry about lunch and snacks. There's heaps on board. Heaps and heaps and heaps. Options galore. Alright, I'm waiting for Daniel to pick me up, so I'm walking along the beach. This is, I think, Fishery Bay, Fishery Beach, something like that. It is magical. So clear, so blue, so calm. Ah, oh, Bremer Bay, you are magical. If you have not come to Bremer Bay along this area, you know, I know it's like 60 k's off the main road into this old tiny place, but check it out. It's amazing. Amazing. What are we doing, Amanda? A surface. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going for a bit of an explore. Impromptu. Four drive. Four drive. <laughs> to Look for a uh, sunset spot. We're at Native Dog Beach near Bremer Bay, WA. What do you think, Aria? We're at Bremer Bay at the cafe, the telegraph station. Yeah, um, I got a baby chin with marshmallows. Is it good? Uh, yes, I haven't tasted it yet. Mmm! With extra chocolate. Wow, do you want to try this orange blossom cake? Mm hmm. Oh, they get all on the sweets. I've just been doing it. Mm. Yummy? No, not yet. <laughs> Was that good? Mm, yummy. Alright, we've just stopped in a Ravensthorpe. Um, for a quick lunch break, toilet stop, and there's the uh, solo here, so we've just parked up in front of that while it's quiet for a lunch break. It's called The Stages of Banksia. It's very creative. I like it. Alright, 
we have arrived at Four Mile Campground. The last campsite. The last campsite. So that's what I was going to say. Book a site online. Um, we booked ages ago, but when we got here, it's not allocated, so we just had to go with whatever the site was that was left. Um, which is okay, which except is fine. if you don't fit in like except whatever if you don't fit. Because like, some of so them are quite small. That's it. They're online. They're a, what are they, a ten by six yeah. meter for a caravan, but they're not ten by six meters. Like if you look at ours, we actually got it's one that's. We got one. That's we got one that is, but the next one's down. There's no we way we'd even like fit. A little motorhome. You'd fit a motorhome or a camper trailer or a little nineteen foot van or something. Like you wouldn't actually fit. So yeah. Um, Just be careful, come a bit earlier. Come a bit earlier. I mean, it's I, like, I know you've so. booked, but because it, it's not allocated, yeah. um, you can still end up with something that doesn't fit you. Like, um, so yeah, National Parks pass required, bookings required. I can't even remember how much it was, because it was that long ago that we booked it. I can't remember. Anyway, um, weather's not... Like $20 a night, I don't know. $20 a night, okay. Weather's not the best, but, you know, when we've made these bookings, you can't control the weather for when you come. So we we're just—we're actually literally just parked and uh, walking to the beach because it's not raining right now. So we're going to enjoy that while we can. Looks like there was picnic tables and that kind of thing here. Typical national park camp. No water. Bring your own. I haven't seen a toilet yet, but anyway, I haven't really looked around. There was a toilet. There you go. Anyway, we're going to enjoy the beach in the clouds. On a nice day, this area would be absolutely delicious. That one. Chocolate and nut. Mm. Interesting. What do we... Uh... How about you have a piece that has some chocolate and nut and some apple in it? Oh. What are we doing? What have we got? Careful, might be Dessert really good. pizza. Yeah, we First had time we've ever tried it. Yeah, we had pizza night tonight, so we finally had pizza bases that don't have the herb <laughs> on them. Yeah, and uh, we made a apple with cinnamon and a chopped hazelnut. What do you think, Aria? Yum. Good. Mhm. Mm we nailed it. This chocolate and hazelnut is just ridiculous, and the apple one I think is probably even better. That's how many nipples that one you have mm. to